Hello and welcome to this video on connecting Visual Studio Code to your My Files at ASU's web host service. So first you want to start out with your editor. If you haven't yet, go ahead and download Visual Studio Code. Um, you'll go to code.visualstudio.com. When you get there, it'll auto detect what system you're on. So mine says Mac, yours might say PC. Go ahead and click that button. That will download a zip file and then double click on that zip and it'll pop up with visual code and we'll go ahead and open that. That'll open here to your welcome screen where you can customize, learn some commands um, and get started. We'll go ahead and uh, open up an extension uh, which is this um, icon on the left. It looks like a bunch of boxes and one is um, kind of connecting in there, looking at connections and uh, extensions. And we're gonna look for SFTP. You can type that in there uh, and hit return. This first one is a really great one. This is by Lixamomo. If you click on it, you can see it has lots and lots of great reviews and lots and lots of downloads. Um, and a lot of documentation here, which is fantastic, a good sign for an extension. So now uh, that you have it installed, notice mine says uninstall because of course I already have it up and running. We're gonna go ahead and configure that file. So we're gonna go up to the top icon here that says Explorer, and we're gonna go ahead and close that, and we're going to open a folder. So this is the first thing when you get started, you want to open a folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And what I'm looking for is that local match, that www folder that is going to match the www folder on my remote server, right? On the web server. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my finder to go find that space. I have it in Dropbox. I have it in a folder called web. And then I have uh, public.asu.edu after it because I have several websites. So that's how I know where it is. And then you'll see inside that folder, I have my magic www folder. So this here is going to match up with my web server www folder and then all the folders inside are going to um, match, right? We're going to uh, code them and upload them and the structures are going to be the same, right? Those will live both in your local drive and on the web drive. So I'm going to find that www folder and I'm going to hit open. And then you'll notice here it's brought into the side. You might have lots of websites that you're working on. Um, and so you might have lots of different projects happening here on the side. We're going to go ahead and click into that www folder. I'm going to go ahead and unclick, uh, close the welcome message. And when I do that, it comes up to this uh, great shortcuts um, screen where you can show all the commands. So what we need to do right now is configure that new extension, the SFTP, with our web space and so that they can connect and we can upload files straight from here, which is um, super fast and awesome and actually uh, posts way faster than if you were dragging your file into my files on the ASU server. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and click our command, um, shift command P. Um, that might be slightly different if you're on a PC. And the uh, configure that we're going to do is sftp colon config. So you can go ahead and type that there in the terminal or click on it. That opens this file, sftp.json. And this is what we're going to um, connect to our web host. So the first thing we want to do is name it whatever we want. Here it says my server. You can literally name this whatever. Um, I like to name mine um, public.asu.edu because that reminds me which one it is. You could name it my school website. You could name it poopy pants. It really won't matter. It's just the name that we you need to remember what space this is. 
Okay, then we're gonna jump down to the next row where it has the host and the host name that we wanna put in the parentheses is general.asu.edu. Perfect, now we wanna jump down to protocol. Uh, we're gonna use SFTP, a secure file transfer protocol. Uh, the port number that we're looking for is 22. And the username is gonna be whatever your ASU write is. So uh, mine is CCARRA1. Yours is some configuration of your first name, last name. Um, and then we're gonna to go to the remote path. So this is the path that is going to say uh, where to connect to. All right, so we're pointing to that www folder because we want those ones to match. So we're gonna do forward slash AFS, which is Andrew File System. It's the system that ASU uses um, to host web. Then we're gonna do forward slash ASU.edu, forward slash users, forward slash the first letter of your ASU write, forward slash the second letter of your ASU write, forward slash the third letter of your ASU write, forward slash your ASU write, then forward slash www, and then forward slash. This is the path to the server to your web host, right? This is the path it's going to take. And when it gets there, it's going to match that www folder that's going to match your local files. So their structures will be um, duplicates of each other. Okay. Then the next prompt is for upload on save and it's automatically set to true. So every time you hit save, it's gonna automatically connect with the web host. Now, you can turn this off if you would like to, if you would like to change it to false and then you would like to kind of move them to the site yourself, that is totally fine and up to you. But we're gonna go ahead and save that folder and I just use the shortcut, uh, control save. You can go to file and save as well. And now we're gonna go ahead and close that. So what it's done here is in my www folder, which is matching, it's just bringing up the files locally that I have on my machine. It's added this folder called .vs code and inside it, there's a folder called sftp.json, okay? And I'm just gonna leave it there. That's all I needed to do. I can go ahead and close it. Now I can see all of the folders and files that I have in my local drive and I can make a new one and post them online. So let's go ahead and do that now. Here I am in www. I'm gonna add a new folder. All right, so the first icon here is for a new file. The next one is for a new folder. The next one's to refresh your explorer. Ex <laughs> to refresh your explorer. And the last one is to collapse all these folders. All right, so let's add a new folder. And let's call that folder VS code dash test. I'm putting it in all caps so I don't miss it. Okay, so I've added that folder now inside my www file. Now I'm gonna go ahead and inside VS code dash test folder, I'm gonna add a document and I'm gonna call it test.html. And that's gonna go ahead and open up a new file in VS code that is looking, um, to, it's called test.html. I'm gonna go ahead and type the doc type information. So um, doc type, and then I'm going to add my HTML. Then I'm gonna add the head. Then I'm gonna add my title. And I'm gonna call this test, if that makes sense. <laughs> Then after the closing of the head tag, I'm gonna add a body. And I'll just put in an H1 here that says test real big. And then I have my closing body and my closing HTML. Awesome, our first file done. We'll go ahead and hit save. 
And on save, notice it's going to ask, okay, what's your password? I know where to go. You tell me what your password is. And this will only happen, I think, the first time uh, that you use it. So I'll go ahead and type in my password and hit enter. And then you'll notice down here at the bottom, the STFTP is done. All right, so it had a little um, rotating animation there at the bottom and then it said done. So now I wanna see if it worked. So if I go into my files and I go into my www folder, I should see a brand new folder called VS test code. There it is, VS code test. And if I click inside of it, I should see my test.html and there it is, right? If I click onto this file from here, it's going to download that file, right? This is just a file server. This is just a place to store documents. It's not your domain. If I want to test that this is working, then I need to go ahead and open my domain. So I'll go to www.public.asu.edu slash tilde, my ASU right. It's C-C-A-R-R-A-1, right? And I'm going to start there. This is my index page. It's another story we'll, we'll talk about later. And then I want to put VS code in all caps. I have to do it in the same way that I did caps. Uh, it's caps lock sensitive. It's also um, uh, space sensitive. So VS code uh, dash test. And that's the folder that I added, remember? So I'll put a slash. All of my folders have to be in slashes. And then I need to put in my test.html and hit enter. And here it is, test. So now I know it's working. Um, and so this was just a check to make sure it's working. If I go back to my Visual Studio, I can add all of the folders and files that I want here. And it's configured upon save to instantly go to my web space. I can check to see if it's there in my files or I can just go to my web address um, and make sure that it's working. And that's it. That's how you connect VS Code to ASU's web server.